Hey, welcome guys. So, um, we've just gone ahead and created a whole bunch of accounts. Um, let's just get this open up here. And we just need to go into If This Then That. So this is um, the script that everyone gets. And all you need to do is make sure that you go out and you create these accounts first. And what we're going to do first is we're going to connect these to um, Browsio. Uh, sorry, to Browsio. We're going to connect these to If This Then That. So let's just go ahead and connect a few. One, two, three, four. Twitter. Oop. Oops, if you if you double click on it, it'll run it automatically. So be careful over there. Um, we're not going to connect Twitter simply because, and I'm not going to show all of these. I don't have a fan page connected. Gmail, Google Drive, Instapaper, LinkedIn, OneNote, Pocket, Weebly I don't have, and WordPress I do. All right, so I'm going to connect all of these. And I know I have accounts for all of them. So let's just click play. All right, so you can either get your VAs to do this or do this yourself. Ah, <laughs> it would help if I had an if this then that account attached, wouldn't it? So uh, <laughs> let's just uh, sign up to an if this then that account. Uh, fill out the form. There you go, sign up. And there's no verification needed for if this, then that. All right. So blogger, Facebook, media, and play. And we're going to go and we're going to connect all of our accounts that we've just created to if this, then that. So that's how Browsio works um, with if this, then that. We go ahead and um, we connect all of the uh, scripts first. <clears throat> as you can see, and it's going to go through all of them and just connect. I think there might be an issue with buffer. Um, hasn't been updated yet, and we'll see when we get to it if it actually does connect it or not. Uh, but anyway, we know about it, and it will be updated over the next coming, over the next few days. But anyway, just take a look out. Watch out for buffer. Um, I don't know if it's either the account creation or if it's the connecting the script. Well, we're, we're going to find out, aren't we? Um, so the way that we've worked this and the way that we connect um, everything together is that um, we do the OAuth authorization with everything, with the account creation. So that's if you're in the IA club, of course. Um, but that's what we suggest that you do, whether you're doing it with the IA club automatically or whether or not you're doing it manually, is to absolutely just go ahead and, and, and use the OAuth authorization wherever you can, because it's much more authoritative, much more authentic. And it sends much more of the sort of the real, I'm a real user, I'm using a browser and authenticating my real account um, with these sites. So they have much more stickability, I found. I found them much harder to get deleted when you're authenticating with, um, you know, Gmail accounts and WordPress accounts that have been around for a while. So, uh, sorry, and Facebook accounts that have been around for a while. So. As you can see, it's just it's just flying through, um, authorizing all of them. And as soon as it comes back to this page, we know when when it says when it doesn't have the connect button um, like that Tumblr, um, we know that it's it comes back to the page and it's authorized, right? So the other cool thing and the reason why we've also split this apart is because sometimes um, recipes or not recipes, but these authorizations they get disconnected. Um, so instead of running recipes and connections at the same time, which is what you do normally um, when creating recipes, um, we separated the connect so that if you're having issues with your, um, with your authorization, you're not getting posts that are getting created, you could just come and, and just run all of the connect scripts and see which ones have got the connect button there like this and which ones um, don't. And if they don't have the connect button, just move straight on. If they do have the connect button, let it go ahead and re-authenticate it and connect it back up again. Um, so that's the, uh, the, the one of the great benefits of having them separate and not how we originally had them um, when we created them. Um, whereas it was going and it was also at the same time creating the uh, connection. So we've totally separated them out now. And we don't even need to create any of the recipes because um, all of the recipes have been created by the Semantic Mastery team. Thanks again, guys. 
we've got about 60 or so um, waiting to be connected. So we're going to show you how that will work next. And and it's all automated, right? And it's very cool. So everyone gets their automation in there as well. Um, the only thing that you don't get is, is the uh, sign-up scripts and the login scripts for all of these accounts and that kind of stuff, which need um, a lot of maintenance with changes. So you see there's no connect button. That's what you would expect to come to when you come to the bit.ly page or whatever pages. So here you've got the buffer page, so it hasn't been connected yet. And we're about to find out if it's the sign up script or if it's the connect script. I'm pretty sure it's the sign up script. So buffer will work. Yeah, it's the sign up script that still needs to be fixed. OK, so this is um, this is this should be working um, fine like the rest of them. So um, what's cool about this as well is we're, we're basically automating the automation. I mean, you know, this is not the first if this, then that automation tool that's out there. Um, you know, that's for sure. And, you know, good reason for that. It, it's, it, it works, right? Syndication using these networks, they just work really well when, when done correctly. Um, but it, it's definitely one of the first, if not the first, that allows you to just authenticate everything using the authorization. So it kind of gives it a lot more um, authenticity. And when you're signing up to these accounts as well, using the OA, it's also, um, I've found that it keeps it more alive. It's much harder um, to get these accounts deleted when you're connecting them with, you know, nice, good, clean Gmail and Facebook accounts. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, so um, I'm not sure how many more there are left to go. I think I'm just going to end the video here. I think you guys have got the picture. You see how um, the authorization works, the connection works. So what we've done, so what the process is that we've just done, I'm going to um, say it one more time, is we're connecting um, those accounts that you've just gone out and created to the If This Then That network. And then we're ready now to create applets, which they're calling them now. Okay, so here's going to be a good thing that we waited on just to show you that there'll be a pop-up now and you need to pick the right one. And if you have more than one profile, there'll be a pop-up. If you don't have more than one profile, um, um, it'll just go ahead and add whatever you've got in the main setup. So I've got the WordPress here on a separate profile. So I need to select the, the right one. And this is, I think, the one that we used that is excellent, connected, beautiful. And then it's the same thing now for Digo, I think, or Digo, I don't even know how to pronounce that, um, where it's going to um, connect it with the password as well. Yeah, so I think those are the only two that work like that. Um, so, okay, I'm ending the video now. I think there might be one or two other ones, maybe WordPress that works like that as well. But you get the picture. Um, that's how the connections work. We're connecting it. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how the uh, scripts work, the other scripts work in the, uh, in the video on how to actually um, get the recipes working so that when you post, stuff's going to happen. So that's going to happen in the next video. All right. See you in the next video, guys.